Hello Aquarius and welcome to your September 2022 reading. So I've meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that came out, <laughs> here's Mr. Black Buddy on your reading. So the first card that came out is the Six of Sword and the High Priestess. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> right away, <clears throat> the Six of Sword is all about being able to turn the page um, on, you know, what we are now ready to be in peace with. Uh, keeping the lessons, but actually using our willpower to stir us away from the ups and downs emotions. So it is actually a choice, an active choice of reaching peace, serenity. Having the high priestess there, that tells me that this is something that your soul has been like probably pushing you to do. Uh, it is probably uh, something that will actually help to heal and balance your soul, uh, putting it more into its alignment. So turning the page and attaining serenity about a situation. After that, we have the Fool. So Major Arcana, the Fool is all about after completing a cycle uh, being able to start back at zero, therefore no baggage, no resentment, no emotional uh, projections due to old traumas or disappointments and things like that. It's a zero. If we do not start at the zero and we do that kind of leap of faith into our new cycle, then, as the Marseille Tarot explains it well, spirit in the form of that weird little demon cat will come and bite your ass <laughs> and then we have temperance and temperance is all about divine timing so being ready seeing the pic bigger picture uh, actually our deep core beliefs uh, when we kind of see higher than our little self because we are emotionally ready to see, to understand, to heal. So there's turning the page, faith and healing right there on the first row. Um, then under our high priestess and the six of sword, I have the page of cup and the knight of wands just gonna put that here okay the page of cup and the knight of wands okay <laughs> no shame <laughs> no shyness there we go so page of cup is the capacity to actually bring you know a new cup take a new ace of cup and bring it receiving it giving it it's at the page uh, level but it's that gesture of arriving with a cup or being able to absorb somebody else's cup it can be as um, soft as a compliment or just that extra self-love or extra gesture uh, night of, uh, of ones it's in the here and now and then under that, I have the devil. So we know that here, high priestess and the devil, this is a karma. This is a Saturn lesson that your soul had to learn. This is, you know, all about that. About allowing a here in the moment capacity of spontaneity of offering one's love, of offering one's friendship uh, or just following something we love and we care for on that level. 
under the full, I have the moon. And then under that, I have death. Now these two, see we have like three major arcanas in that row here. So, these two speak of water here because it's Scorpio and Scorpio is a water sign and Scorpio is all about that capacity to go and clean, let die the cycles of what is deep in the waters. Here, what is deep in the waters is represented by that lobster here, okay, Cancer, Gum coming up to the surface to be addressed. And our animalistic side, our reactionary side, part of it will owl at the moon, and another part that is more, let's say, influenced or tamed by our higher self will help us to guide ourselves through those two pillars and attain the sun on the other side of the moon. So attain that kind of, okay, I am in the shadow part of myself and the unconscious part of myself this is what i see and then as i am evolving into this addressing what came up to the surface to be evolved i am transforming it and in the right away why those two are so close to one another is that if you look in the right away uh in your tarot deck or somewhere else you'll see that those two pillars are actually in the background of the death card in the right of weight because they kind of come one after the other. And this is all so that you can um, so that you can make a leap of faith, so that you can really get rid of whatever would be in the baggage that would come back to you and bite your ass at one point uh, in your life. Under temperance, I have the emperor. So this has to do with uh, your masculine side, how you act out there, uh, how you make your decisions, the efforts you make, your courage, your ambition, um, you know, your, your constance, your focus, um, your integrity. And under that, I have... I have three cards. What did you do? Ah, there it is. Okay. The four of pentacle, the three of cups, and the eight of cups. So see, there's like this moment where you're going to be ready. After going through all of this, you're actually going to be ready to let go, to release the emotional baggage associated with the divine masculine with the emperor in your life that can be your go all the way to your father uh, but how you learned um, the emperor job in your life okay you're gonna let go of old emotional baggage that you used to hang on to as a false security um, and here three of cups this is like Okay, I'm going to choose to rise. Let go of the old water and rise my waters. Rise my joy of life, my trust of life. It's the three graces. Let's clarify this. I'm just going to pick up a little card that fell. Okay. All right. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Aquarius for September 2020. Aquarius, September 
Okay, let's look at the High Priestess and the Six of Swords. Oh, there was a card that's reversed here. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, let's keep that in mind. High Priestess, Six of Swords. High Priestess, Six of Swords. High Priestess, Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, oops. <laughs> it's all about juggling. So having twice the High Priestess, you know exactly. As you're hearing this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When the High Priestess arrives, it's something your soul has been telling you for a long time. You've been holding on to something that makes you juggle. That means that makes you... I still have this feeling of sadness or on, of non-trust or that prevents me from being able to celebrate and have pleasure and fun with, um, you know, my friends and so on because I am holding on to some kind of pain um, that has to do with, you know, everything I described with the emperor here. And I have to come in peace with it. I have to leave the choppy waters because therefore I'll never be able to actually receive what I deserve or even accomplish what I deserve because it is the emperor. It is my masculine side here. Let's look at the fool. Judgment. And there we have water again in that card because if you can see, these are coffins floating on water. And there again, we have something that was in the depth, okay? Like a lobster is a bottom feeder. Uh, from the depth of the waters that come to the surface to be addressed. So Aquarius, this month you will have things from the past coming up, old wounds, old people, old situations, where you will have to put a judgment on it in a sense of, okay, now with my spiritual understanding, hint, I'm not five years old anymore, I'm not one years old anymore, I'm not 12 anymore. I have to readdress this with the eyes of the wisdom I have now. I have to re-embrace the parts of me uh, that were hurt, that kept me in a state where maybe it was dangerous to offer my heart out there or to even receive it in, in a gentle way like a page of cup. Let's look at temperance. So. This is going to come up to the surface. And when at one point, um, as you're readdressing these things with the eyes you have today, temperance will be cleaner and cleaner. The water it's slowly cleaning here will be purified and purified, and then you'll get your truth. And so I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of the month, you kind of speak your truth, Aquarius. Because you're going to look at things from a completely different angle. And there you'll get the understanding of what was really going on. Let's look at the Page of Cup and the Knight of Wands. Four of Pentacle. And here is our Queen of Pentacle in reverse. Okay. So, this affected your self-worth. This affected that, uh, you know, if we haven't been traumatized on the Pentacle level, let's say, um, we have that inner knowledge that it is normal to receive the best of the best, it's normal to be supported. It's normal to be uh, that we are enough, that we have enough, that we have worth and we are valued 
to begin with okay here four of pentacle this is uh when we're really closing ourselves up to protect ourselves we're holding on to something um maybe something that came and left but that random us um kind of cut the spontaneity in us and that we've been juggling since then uh, let's look at the devil oh that was quick page of cup page of cup page of cup ace of cup like a having a hard time if you find that you have a hard time receiving love that you want to run away that you are closed up because you think you're not enough there's a big karma here for some of you maybe i will not verbalize it because this can you know be so much uh, more um but since the high priestess arrived twice here uh, for sure you know what it is and it's affecting your self-worth yes queen of pentacle like i was saying but also uh, how much unconditional love you can absorb within yourself and your capacity to receive uh, and to dare to give a cup okay there's a lot of fear around it let's look at the moon let's look at what comes up to the surface the moon is also directly linked to your uh, feminine. Well, so here's the Aquarius. Here you are. And here is Nine of Sword. So this is anxiety. It's like a deep fear, a deep rooted fear linked to your capacity to receive water receive love even compliments or even letting yourself be in simple joy and happiness there's something you've been holding on to that was preventing this for you preventing you from um, having complete faith in life and trusting that it is safe that it is okay it's time to release and you're the water barrier you're not the water keeper you bury it and you you, uh, you bear it and you give it you receive and you transmit like this if you start keeping water aquarius you become miserable here i stop on the empress in return in uh, reverse show me death here what is going to transform the moon so we have moon moon and here i have the hermit which is interesting because we are in virgo season okay there's something deep in your unconscious in your water in your subconscious a memory something you've been keeping and that's been hindering you in your capacity to just be in the moment spontaneous um and receive love follow your heart or things like that the hermit follows his inner light but here having twice the moon this at one point this month you will have you will be in the complete dark okay and that means the sun will be hidden for you because when you look at the moon card it's an eclipse the sun is right be behind it so this is to represent when our inner world is in front of the outer world so how i feel will actually be created right there it's like karmically this is what i see more than reality itself and the distortions in it the things that can no longer be tolerated right now are gonna come to the surface to be addressed when a moon quest 
is not addressed, what happens is that there's a pressure that keeps being built. We can fall into even depression by holding on the old shell, the old matrix of, you know, based on our deep um, unconscious, uh, it's very hard to live. It needs to be flushed out, evacuated. So when these things come up this month, always say to yourself, okay, what does it serve me? Why am I holding on to this? So that your inner light becomes clearer and clearer. Let's look at that emperor. So that you know, uh, here, that emperor, we have the ace of cup again, and we have the three of swords in reverse. So here, see your masculine side, or, you know, the references that you have of an emperor in your life, starting with your first one, that probably brought you disappointments and heartaches. Swords in the heart. After you clean your waters, and like say the influence of that part of you, that animalistic part of you that lived this, once that influence is gone and you can clearly listen to your high priestess, the truth will arrive about this. So eight of cups, you will leave it behind, what's left. But mostly, most important in the eight of cups, it's the, it's the notion that that ace of cup exists. And that not everything you've lived is not all that there is for you. There's more out there. I can experiment life in a much lighter, joyful, loving way. I can celebrate life if I just release. Release my anxiety. And here I have justice. So, and justice, you know, if, well, it's Libra, but if at one point it's also the seventh house of partnerships, partnerships between you and the others, all the contracts, but we can go basically to the partnership between you and the divine, you and the world you and the universe is it balanced with what you have been holding on it wasn't balanced and as long as you hold on to it it will keep being unfair unbalanced it brought a lot of anxiety to you it this this is very heavy and of course it's different for all of you. For some of you, this is just going to be a little left over because you've worked on yourself for so much. Others of you, it's just that it's going to be the accumulation of all of this that is just crying out to be addressed. When there's a part of us within ourselves that suffer, that yells, it's because it is lacking light. It is lacking love. And who's at the gate? We are. Because unconditional love is there around us constantly. We can tap into it all the time. Shadow also. It all depends of where we're aiming and what is our truth. So something was making you blocking yourself from this. And now it's going to come up to the surface what it is this month for you to release it so that you can be in the flow again, so that people can act towards you in a much more balanced and fair way. So I'm going to call this judgment because this is going to be the main key this month. 
you're going to see yourself going you're going to see your shadow as it as if it's in front of you and you're going to pull a judgment on it you're going to understand exactly what it was doing and where it comes from so so that you can bring back balance into your life so you can bring back justice you know when we've lived something very hard justice is not looking at the person that hurt us pay that's not justice it doesn't bring anything justice is that how we've been affected and hurting can be released so we can be realigned like if that hasn't happened we are not there to put the judgment or forgive on the other there are human laws for that and there are divine laws it's between them and the divine but us it's our only duty to go back into alignment with joy and light and serenity and peace within ourselves undo the damage that was done to ourselves from ourselves and then the, the divine can come in and then of course then it's much easier to have a balanced celebrating life but ultimately it is a choice and once you've noticed the price you've paid for holding on to the old beliefs and the old traumas you're gonna have to make a choice and release okay so judgment on this i'm sending you all my love and light aquarius thank you for watching sharing commenting on the videos uh, please subscribe to help grow the channel if you uh, if you want if you want a private reading now my two beautiful nieces made a website for me so the website is right in the plus section below and it's gonna be online saturday next saturday the third of september so on this you'll have all the information the capacity to book and so on and of course i'm going to build it up as i go along um and so yeah thank you also for the ones of you who gave donations it helps more than you think uh, the link of that is below also and on the new moons i do a little ceremony to give you back so on this namaste happy uh, autumn equinox wabun celebration of the harvest of that beautiful equilibrium between the sun and the shadow see you next month